This is the Huawei Nova Y91, another budget-friendly option that Huawei have recently launched. This phone comes in at a launch price of 7,000 rands, and for that price, you get a massive 7,000 mAh battery, huge screen, and some other notable features. So if you would like to find out more about this phone, then keep watching. Before continuing this review, if this is your first time on this channel, I am the South African tech YouTuber, and if you enjoy this type of content, then make sure to sub to the channel. And also, if you could follow me on my other social media platforms, it would be much appreciated. I will leave all the links below. Okay, so I have already made a full unboxing and quick overview of this phone, so make sure to check that video out. But just to recap, here are all the contents that Huawei give in the box. In the design department, the Nova Y91 is made from plastic, and the curved back panel has a matte coating, which does not attract fingerprints. The back panel has a glittery effect when light shines on it, and the cameras are surrounded by a unique looking gold accent, which gives the phone an added bit of flavor. I have the moonlight silver color, but it also comes in a black color, which perhaps suits the gold accents a bit better. The phone weighs 214 grams, and for a device that houses a 7000 mAh battery, the Nova Y91 feels surprisingly sleek, and overall I was impressed with the build quality. On the front, the Nova Y91 has a massive 6.95 inch display, which has a resolution of 1080p with a 90Hz refresh rate. The technology being used is LCD, and there is a decent sized notch at the top of the display, which houses the front camera, sensors and speaker. The notch is a bit outdated, but with the large display size, it's not a deal breaker. The side bezels and chin are relatively small as well. Watching media content and using the display for daily usage was an enjoyable experience on this massive screen. I do however wish the screen had an OLED panel, but I guess Huawei are keeping this for their more expensive phones. When it comes to the optics, the Y91 has a dual rear camera setup, which consists of a 50 megapixel main lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor, which assists in blurring the background for portrait shots. Initially, when I saw the massive camera bump at the back of the phone, I was expecting three or four cameras, but I was quite surprised that it just has a dual camera setup. Anyways, the cameras perform well in good lighting conditions, and the colors are not overexposed, and I found it to be a little bit more true to life. Portrait mode works very well, and the lens is able to separate the subject from the background to give the background a pleasing blur effect. In low lighting, the camera does perform poorly, so I would suggest using the phone only in good lighting conditions. The rear camera takes video at 30 frames per second with a resolution of 1080p. And lastly, the front camera is an 8 megapixel shooter. Performance wise, the Nova Y91 is powered by the Octa Core Snapdragon 680 CPU. The device also has 8GB of RAM with 3GB of virtual RAM and it comes with a large 256 gigs of storage, which is not expandable via an SD card. Day-to-day -day performance is solid using this phone, and combined with the 8 gigabytes of RAM, I did not see much stutters or hiccups using this phone for normal, casual multitasking. The Snapdragon 680 is not meant for gaming or doing heavy tasks, but if you are not a hardcore gamer, the phone can perhaps just about get the job done, but the experience is a bit frustrating, especially on demanding titles. For less demanding titles though, social media apps, web browsing, emails, etc., the phone will perform well. Also for those interested in benchmarks, you can pause the video right now to see the results of those on the screen. Now the real star of the show with the Nova Y91 is definitely that 7000 mAh battery. Huawei continually impress me year after year with the battery capacity that they are able to put in their Nova series devices. Last year I labeled the Nova Y70 Plus as the battery champ with its 6000 mAh battery. But this year the Nova Y91 has surpassed those boundaries with its incredible battery performance. Two days of usage on a single charge is more than achievable with this guy. And you can also top it up with the 22.5 watt charger given in the box. When it comes to software, the phone runs on EMUI 13, 
with Android 12. And Huawei software, as usual, is filled with bloatware and a lot of folders, which personally is not my cup of tea. I've become used to spending a decent amount of time cleaning up the software and installing custom launchers and icons to give the phone a more aesthetically pleasing look. You can unofficially install Google Apps using Gbox, which Huawei are making a bit more easier to do nowadays. The Nova Y91 has a fantastic and immersive speaker setup, which utilizes the main speaker as well as the top mic to provide an extremely loud sounding experience. Huawei claim this speaker setup is 300% more immersive than last year's Nova Y90. The phone also has a side-mounted fingerprint sensor which is relatively fast and accurate. In the connectivity department, the Y91 has dual SIM card support, but unfortunately the phone does not support 5G, but only 4G. Lastly, the device also lacks NFC, which for some people may be a deal breaker, as contactless payments using your smartphone has become the norm nowadays. Okay, so wrapping this review up, if you want a device that has phenomenal battery life, huge storage, great day-to-day -day performance, a massive screen and super loud speakers, then the Nova Y91 is for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and let me know what you think of this phone in the comment section below. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure hosting you today and I hope to see you in the next video.